Hi, Steve Adams here from Upfront Info. In this video I'm going to take a look at Talkier, a new text-to-speech software from Brixen, the developers of video creation software Doodly and Toonly. I'll first take a look at their sales page, go through the upsells, and then show you how the software works and play through some of the voices, so you can hear how good they are. Hey, hold on just a minute. That's not my voice. That's one of the Talkier voices speaking. How did he take over my head? I'm going to get to the bottom of what's going on here. But first, if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ding the bell to get notified when I upload more content to the channel. I've bought the Talkier software and I'll be doing more videos in future showing how you can use it to create videos without appearing on camera. Okay, where did that voice go to? So did I fool you with the voiceover at the start of the video? Could you tell it was a text-to-speech voice rather than an actual person speaking? Text-to-speech software has certainly improved in recent years with the developments of Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. The technology for both is now available to companies to develop their own products and the latest software to take advantage is Talkia, which offers both Google and Amazon voices. OK, so let's have a look at the sales page now. If we scroll down a bit. So here they claim use Talkia to create amazing professional voiceovers that sound like real human voices. So I'll play a few of those in a minute when we as when we scroll down so you can see how well you think the voices sound. Okay, some of the reasons why you'd want to use a voiceover. You don't like the sound of your voice, so, voice sounds too boring, not very good at reading video scripts, all such reasons like there's a few more reasons below. So the way you create the voiceovers is you step one, you paste the text into Talkia Editor, you choose the voice on step two, and then you preview it, customize the voice so you can speed it up or you can change the pitch, and then you export it. So it exports as an MP3 file which you can then use in other software such as Camtasia or their own programs such as Doodly or Toonie. Okay, so let's actually play a few of the voices so you can hear how they sound if you've not seen the sales letter already. Jack is the one that I played at the beginning, so we'll play that one. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. And Joey's quite a popular one as well. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. And women's voices as well. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. Now all the voices shown here, so what we've got 12 voices there, they're all part of the standard one apart from Joshua here. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. So that one's actually part of the Enterprise Edition, so you won't get that as part of the standard software. But other ones that are included as part of the standard are children's voices as well, so if we play Ivy. This is a preview of my voice using the Talkia software. Okay, so there we are, and there's also Justin there for, uh, for a boy's voice. So here's some of the features of the program, which as I say, the speak, speaking rate you can change. I want to mention that in the pitch, change the pitch personalization. I'll demonstrate the, both of those when I show you the software in a few minutes. And you can add pauses. That's mainly just by putting full stops, commas, uh, question marks, the like in, into the actual text. And you can have different accents. That's the different foreign voices. Um, there aren't too many foreign voices available as part of the standard edition. You'd have to go for the enterprise edition if you if you want more of the foreign voices. And then you can add background music. And it says here you can actually emphasize words. Now, a program like Speechello, you can actually highlight a particular word and give it emphasis. You can't do that within Talkia, so I'm not really sure what they're referring to there as far as emphasis go. But certainly you can change the, the volume up and, and down. So here's some of the foreign sounding voices. So if you're not an English speaker, if say you're for a for German wanting to use it. Dies ist eine Vorschau meiner Stimme mit der Tokia Software. Or we'll say we listen to the French. Ceci est un aperçu de ma voix à l'aide du logiciel Talkia. Okay. So here we show, it shows you the type of places where you want to use it. If in video sales letters, educational training videos, marketing videos, audio books or just videos on your website. So they'll be updating the software regularly. Um, I've only had the software for a couple of days. I've already had an update since uh, the start of that. And you get a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So because it's an MP3 file that is exported, you can then just pull that into any of the software you want. 
and again repeat the guarantee. So if I click on the get talk here so you can see the actual prices. Standard edition is $39 per month if you play it monthly and the enterprise is $69 a month. Now with the standard you get a thousand words so that's words not characters so that's about four to five minutes worth of, of recording. So with that it's recording in one particular mp3 file. So you can then export that one and then you can record some more and add that into the same video. So you can make videos as long as you want but you have to do them in 1000 word chunks. So from my experience looking at those, as I say about 4-5 to five minutes you get on each of the videos. So if you've got the enterprise you would be able to do 5000, so 5 times as much. So you're talking about 20-25 minutes for, for videos there. So you get 65 voices with the with the standard. Several of those are English speaking ones and then you've got a few um, foreign ones as well. But with the enterprise you get 329 voices. So there's quite a lot more voices there. And that's how it shows how the split is between the male, the female, the youth. You get 30 background tracks. You can actually import your own background music as well. So you're not limited to just 30. You just that's how many they provide free. And with the enterprise version you get commercial rights so you can actually sell the voiceovers that you create using it. So those are the prices if you pay on a monthly basis. So the $39 works out at $468 a year and the $69 works out at $828 a year. But if you actually were to pay it annually, so you pay annually but it works out on a monthly basis, so, so $20 per month, $240 you'd be paying in, in one one-off amount. And if you went for the enterprise, that's $40, that's $480 paid annually. Now I actually bought a lifetime subscription for it. Because I already own the Doodly program, they were doing a launch offer to people that already own Doodly. So I actually got the standard edition for $67, which I thought was pretty good value. Not sure if that's still available. I'll leave a link to the sales page below where, where you can get the monthly and annual figures. But if you want to go for the one-time offer, subscribe to my list and message me and I'll let you know if there's still a, a one-time offer around. As I say, it was a launch offer that they were doing to Doodly members, so I'm not sure if that's still available or not. But if you message me, then as I say, I'll let you know if it's still available because that will save you a lot of money if, if it still is. Okay, that's, so that's pretty much it for the sales page. So I'll now head over and show you the members area where you can download the software and then I'll give a quick demonstration of the software. So before you can use the software you need to first of all download it from the members area of their website. So it's a bit different from other similar applications that are cloud based where you run it through your browser. But They've got versions for Windows and the Mac so you download the relevant version for yourself. And then there's three tutorials which total about eight minutes worth of uh, videos. Not a lot of um, in the way of tutorials but not a lot required really because it's very simple, uh, straightforward which are, I'll show you the, the, how the software works in a, in a few seconds. So scroll down a little bit further and you see they've got frequently asked questions so if we click on that you'll see that if you do have any problems installing, got a troubleshooting area and how to use the software and you can also open a support ticket and they're, they're very quick to respond. I've, I've had a couple of questions for them and literally they were responding within hours so it's very good support that they offer. Here we are within the Talkia software and you start by creating yourself a new project, give it a name and then you can either type the text into the box where it says type text here or you can paste it from Word document or wherever you've got the text stored. So I'm just going to paste some in here and then you can either preview that but we're, first of all we'll select a, a voice. So you've got your male voices, you've got your female voices, now male so I'm going to choose a male one to start with and then you click on the voice name and it brings up a list of all the different names available for you. Now I'm on the standard edition as you can see up the top right hand corner here. So all these voices that you see here are all part of the standard, the standard pricing. You've got Google and you've got Amazon Polly and then they're both split between WaveNet and Standard Voices. So within the standard version of the software you've got quite a lot of English speaking voices. You've got United States, you've got Australia, you've got United Kingdom, again US, US, a few non-English speaking ones as well. From Korea, got Russian Federation, India. So that's the WaveNet ones, then you've got the Standard ones, again a few different countries there, India, Poland, Vietnam, 
and that's all that's all the ones for Google and I won't play all of these to you I played a few within the sales page but I'll just scroll down through there so you can just see what they are and again on the Amazon poly so that top one there that's actually a Welsh speaking one scroll down through them again so you can just see how many how many different languages um, and different voices there are okay so to demonstrate I'm going to just choose Joey and apply that and you can see here you can set the speed you know, one being normal speed and you can set the pitch as well and the pitch zero being the normal so let's just play that so once you've actually got your text in there you just click on the speak it button and that'll preview how the text is going to sound hi i'm one of the talkia text to speech voices how are you today i hope you are having a good time Okay, so you might think, well, that sounds a little bit slow, so we can speed that up. So click on here, and you can just slide the, the, the dot along the thing. So 1.12, so that's 12% faster than, than the standard. See how that sounds. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text-to-speech voices. How are you today? Okay, I so hope you are having a good time. Sorry to interrupt him there. <laughs> um, okay, so you can see that's sped up a little bit. And um, I, I think that sounds a little bit more natural. And then you could change the, the pitch. So what I like here is how you can define it by going up 0.4 a time. So it gives you very fine adjustments that you can make to it. And that really allows you to customize the voice to make it sound your own brand rather than sounding very similar to everybody else's that's out there. So let's change the pitch up to 0.8. And we'll see how that sounds. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay, probably not a lot higher than it was before. You can, you can whack it up a lot higher. So we'll go on to four. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay, so I'm not sure this one's actually changing. Just work it all the way up to 20, see if it is actually making a difference. Some, some of the voices, they, the change in the pitch doesn't actually change it. So we'll see, just see if that. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text to speech voices. Okay, I, I can press the speak it again button there and that will actually stop it so you don't have to listen to all the way through. So as I say, some of them, they don't actually change with the pitch. So this one, so this was a, a um, Jerry on the wave net. That doesn't actually change the pitch there. So if I click over to standard and there's a Jerry on here as well. So we've select that one in as well um instead <laughs> i'll leave that on 20 for a second you just see how it sounds with it up at 20. hi i'm one of the talkie text to speech voices how are you today i hope you are having a good time okay that wasn't actually as bad as i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be really high pitch some of them um I've, I've tried out and you put it up to 20 and it does get very very high pitch and uh sounds pretty awful so yeah so you can see there that 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 some of them the pitch does adjust it some it doesn't so let's bring this one back down again to about six and we'll try that one hi i'm one of the talkie text to speech voices how are you today i hope you are having a good time so okay so that shows you how you can you can um, fine tune the voice so get it just how you like it and obviously on these as well you can go the other way and you can change the pitch down to make it lower let's go down to about four now i find with the the lower you bring the pitch down the less human sounding i think it is it kind of gets a bit more computerized i think let's i'll just show, demonstrate that to you hi i'm one of the talkie text to speech voices how are you today i hope you are having a good time so I think that sounds a little bit more computerized. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And again, you can slow the, slow the uh, speed down. So you don't just have to speed it up. You can slow it down. I'm actually going to bring the, that back up to zero there and see what it's like with it slowed. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia Tech to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. So it might be that you want to slow the text down if it's something, you, you know, if it's like an explainer video that you want, you know, emphasize some of the technical details and, and, and bits like that. So you might find you want to, to slow it down. Anyway, right. So so that was Joey. And I'll, I'll demonstrate one of the female voices to you. So if we click on female and again, I'll just go through these, just scroll through these so you can just 
look to see all the voices because I know when I was purchasing the, the software I wanted to know exactly what voices came with the standard so you can have a look at this and you, you can check them against the voices on the on the sales page Here we've got Nicole so she's an Australian um, and there are actually some youth voices in here. So you can see Ivy, she's actually a, a youth one. And there, there was a, a, a boy's youth one as well. Um, so we've got Nicole. I can't sound, remember how this one sounds. Apply Nicole. And then we've got, let's speed that back up to normal. And we're on normal there. So let's listen to Nicole. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text-to-speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. I love the Australian accent, so uh, I quite like the sound of that one. So we can, again, we can speed her up. Let's just speed up. We'll probably go a bit too fast, but we'll listen and see how that sounds. Hi, I'm one of the talkier text-to-speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay. Well, I hope we're all having a good time by, by now. And we'll go up, we'll increase this pitch. And I'll just put that back to normal. So you can just see the pitch change on its own. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text-to-speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. So I hope that shows how you can really customise the voices to make, make the voice your own so you're not going to sound like other people's videos. What else should we show you on here? Let's have a look. Let's just have a quick listen at some of the, some of the foreign voices. Now these aren't really going to sound right without foreign text so but it'll just give you an idea uh, let's have a look we've got a, f a french one here so let's apply actually let's go for one of the wave net ones no we won't because there's not any on there let's go for google and google wave net we've got a german one here apply that now don't just make these back to normal Sometimes I forget that these that have changed, so you have to remember to make sure they're back to normal, otherwise you might get a different sound to it. Okay, let's listen to this one. Hi, I'm one of the Tokia text-to-speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay, so it doesn't really sound that great because he's not actually trying to speak German. But obviously, you, if you were German, then you'd be typing in your text in German and it'd make it sound a lot better. So I'm going to not choose the German one for, for doing my export. So I'll go to... Actually, I'm going to select Standard and I'll go for Jack. You see some of the names, they're actually available on the WaveNet and the Standard, but they do actually sound different between the two. So I'm going to select Jack there. And I'm just increase the speed there. Not to increase that and have a listen. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Well, I think you, you notice there that after the question mark, he comes in quite quickly with I hope you're having a good time. Now, on the sales page, it actually says that you can put your pauses in there. And I haven't found that with the Talkia software that you can actually customize the space between the the words that much you're very much dependent on the voice that's there and how long the space is between it you can't actually sort of put extra spaces in there and make the delay longer it doesn't work like that so i'm not quite sure when they're when they're saying that on the sales page whether that's something they're going to introduce later on in the software because i noticed with the tutorials there's a couple of things they mentioned in the tutorials and they're not actually here in the software. And I mentioned that to their support team and they came back to me and said, well, yeah, sorry, we've done the videos with those. They're not actually in the software yet. I thought it was a limitation on the standard version and it might be an option that was only available on, on the enterprise where you could cut and paste on your timeline. But they said that that's not actually in either version of the software at the moment. Some of the bits that I mentioned on the sales page, they might be things that they're intending to introduce. Because as I say, I can't find a way where you can actually put a put a space to increase the delay between like the question mark. I'll just play again. Hi, I'm one of the Talkia text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. See, I would have liked a, a slightly longer pause there between the today and the I hope you're having a good time. Some of the other voices, there is a bigger delay in it. But yeah, that's just one one criticism I, I would have with the software that, that I would, you know, as I say, prefer, prefer there to be a, 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 a customizable gap, should we say. So I don't know if you recognize the voice there. That was the one that I did the voiceover with at the start of the video. Um, so that's the one I, I use for that. So that if I can say, right, okay, I'm happy with that um, text. And I'm going to add that to my timeline. 
So once it's added to your timeline, you then use the button down here. And also what you can do is add an audio background to it. For instance, I don't know, let's just put the portrait. Now these buttons here to preview, they don't actually work. I did raise that again with support, so hopefully that'll be fixed at some point. So you can't you can't actually preview it, but you can obviously insert it. And again, this is something that it's probably not a very good one I chose here because you can see here there's quite a lot of, quite a long space at the start. I can actually just delete that and then let's go for the last stretch instead then. I'll insert that one. Right, so we see with this one that it so I can actually reduce that over here on the right hand side I can reduce the 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 length of the timeline. So you see this one cuts in straight away. So this time I'm going to reduce the, um, the volume. So let's play that and see how it sounds. Hi, I'm one of the Talkier text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. So I can actually reduce that background music down to the length of my recording. So I can pull that in there. And let's make this larger again. Okay. And then by right clicking, let me see. Yeah, by right clicking, I can actually fade this out by pulling that along like that. So let's just listen to that again now. Pull that, oops, pull that back to the start there. Hi, I'm one of the Talkier Text to Speech Voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay, that was a little bit loud. <laughs> well, I think you get the idea anyway. That you you see here there the way it faded out. You can do a fade in as well. So that was probably probably sound better than the fade out on this one. Um, I'll do that and I'll actually reduce that back down. Let's see how that sounds. Hi, I'm one of the Talkier text to speech voices. How are you today? I hope you are having a good time. Okay, so that shows you how you can play around with it, get it sounding how you want it. And then once you've got the voice with the with the, the speed you're happy with and the pitch you're happy with, it's worthwhile noting those ones down so then you can actually use those for your videos, you know, so keep a consistent approach between your videos. You know, obviously you might want to do some with a male voice, some with a female voice. But remember the settings that you that do it so that you don't keep having variations on the thing so keep keep your videos very similar. One thing I forgot to mention is with the standard version of software you get you're limited to a thousand words. So that's words, not letter not characters. So a thousand words, which I think is in my experiments with it, it was about four to five minutes worth of video. On the enterprise version, you get 5,000 words, so you get a lot more words on that one. But that doesn't mean to say you can't do longer speeches with the standard version. So what you would do is you would export this one, it exports to an MP3 file, and then you would actually clear your text out, and then you you could create a, a whole new piece using your same settings and everything, and then export that one and export another one. So you can export as many MP3s as you want, and then you use your video editing software, such as Camtasia or anything like that, to pull them all together. And so you can actually create videos as, as long as you want. It's just that you're limited to the thousand words per export. So as I say, once you've you've done that, got it how you like it, then you just click on the export button. You see it very quickly it exports it. And then you just type a name for it and then you would just save it. So I'll just save it to my downloads directory. I hope you found that walkthrough useful. I think it's a really good piece of software. The text-to-speech voices have made a vast improvement in recent times and I feel several of the talkier voices sound very realistic. With some text-to-speech programs, you get very limited voices as part of the standard version and they push you to upgrade to a pro version. But I think with talkier there's actually a decent selection of voices as part of the standard package. The enterprise is double the price of the standard if you choose to pay annually. But that does include around five times as many voices, which you'd need if you speak a language not included within the standard version. It also includes 150 background music tracks. If you want to sell your voiceover tracks, you'll need the commercial rights you get with the Enterprise Edition. OK, if you found it useful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I'll be doing future videos very similar to this.